such a cool plane, guys. Let me do a low pass. Everyone sit here with another video on RC things and today as you've seen in the title of the video we have the E-Flight UMX in this package here but uh, it's a BNF which means bind and fly so you need to procure your own battery and your control system. Yeah, I picked the DXS this one comes with its uh, with a receiver as well. So if you want, you can use it for other planes. And I also got the Smart G2 technology battery and charger bundle, which will show you the, you know, the charge level on your remote. So without further ado, let's open these boxes and see what's inside. There we go. Spectrum G2, Smart G2 technology. I'm guessing this is the charger unit. Yep. There you have it. So this right here is the S20 charging unit. It has a USB-C on the back, and then you have. Uh, IC3 and our battery is IC2 hence you get a converter from IC3 to IC2 and this right here is the battery smart charger required spectrum charge smart charger so you plug it in so and then like this oops there we go. So I have my Samsung charger that I'm gonna plug behind, and and now and now we're charging. So we're gonna leave this to charge now. Oh, it did come with a cable as well. If you would like to use that. Next, let's look at the transmitter, the DXS seven-channel transmitter. Supposed to be really cool so we have the manual here Very 
very nice that it comes with the four AA battery required. This is the Spectrum AR410 receiver, four channel receiver that comes with this set. And here you have the cable. And if I remember correctly, this cable can port into your laptop, I think. Let's see. There we go. So, so here we have it, guys. Trims and uh, one high low function so you have a, a toggle switch here toggle here you have a button here and let's open the bottom so this wire goes in somewhere here like this let's put in the batteries So let's keep this to the side for now. So we have the transmitter. Now let's open the main prize, the main attraction. Finally, out of the plastic wrapping. There we go, we have the UMX A10 Thunderbolt 2 twin 30mm EDF ultra micro scale jet for intermediate pilots we have the safe option with for easy to fly impressive performance it's more durable with carbon fiber reinforced fuselage and nose so you have the AS3X system as it's a bind and fly and uh, with the safe technology you have limited pitch and roll of course and automatic self-leveling, easy to switch assignment, no complex programming required. So talks a bit about the plane here. It's affectionately called the Warthog due to its aggressive look and unique close air support capabilities iconically used in the US Air Force. And uh, yeah, this is a 3S compatible system. It has 30 mm fans, EDF fans. Oh, we have a hole in the box. But uh, how cool does this look, guys? Just look at the picture here. We're gonna go in in a second. The weight is around 131 grams, which means in Europe you can fly without any issues, as it's below the weight limit which is required due to register your craft. Total length of 516 millimeter and width of 562 millimeter and 20.3 inches, 22.1 inches. Okay, let's open the box. Whoo! Liking what I can see. There we go. We have quite nice packaging here. have a sticky on the side for some reason let's get this plane out there we go oh yeah hmm there is a bit of gap between the fuselage pieces so there you have it guys the ailerons elevators dual rudders on the back and the six plate twin 30 mm edf fans powering this jet 
looks quite cool and you have a small pilot in there and you have the decals on the front and I think uh, you can open the canopy come on okay so the canopy is magnet mounted you have two magnets on the front here and two magnets on the cover and there is the battery connector ic2 battery connector all the electronics are pushed to the back so we, along with the fans so i think if you have the battery in this area somewhere that would be great So it goes in like this, comes out like this. So there we have the plane guys. And uh, one cool thing about it is the front wheel, it turns so that you can uh, turn while taxiing in the, on the runway. And uh, that's I think really cool. So you have some of these paper tapes on the side here and here. And uh, some on the front here, some on the back, not really paper tapes, just tapes. I think that's what's holding everything. But yeah, you have two individual servos for each of the ailerons. Um, you have one servo which is controlling the elevators, I think. Uh, and uh, one servo that's controlling the wheel as well as the rudder so if you can see you can see the wires running on the back all around this is just too cool guys and i think uh, now as you see the center of gravity is quite back on the plane but once you put in the battery it's gonna stand straight so you have to plug in the battery in the plane first then press the A button and the power button. The orange light here starts to blink and then turn solid orange once the pairing is done. And now you have control. Elevators, ailerons, rudders. So guys, we're at location. I have the battery charged, not fully, but enough for our maiden flight. And uh, we'll start with the safe mode of course and uh, yeah let's see how it does so I'm gonna plug the battery in here All systems check, elevators, ailerons, rudders. So this is the throttle cutoff. If you press this, then you cut off the throttle immediately. That's cool. Shows you have full battery. It's good to know. I think we'll have to do a hand launch because uh, yeah we don't have a runway let's see how it does so gyro is working everything's fine let's see that was disastrous <laughs> hope we didn't break anything Huh. The battery came out. Guess needs to be properly put in there. Regretting not putting in the. I think there's a tape here. Which should be there. <laughs> Thank you. 
I think now we are in safe mode. So it should be better. Let's do another launch and see how it goes. So let me do another launch. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Let's do a lap. There we go. There we go. A beautiful machine let's give it full throttle climbs like anything let's bring it down We have really strong winds today and it's literally fighting the wind to stay on course. Overhead pass. So let's go one level down to have a bit more of a control overhead pass again let me do a low flyby there we go beautiful beautiful plane getting the hang of it there we go what a beauty hope I'm getting it on camera There we go. Definitely need the rudder to have a better elevation control. Sorry, definitely need to have the rudder for better turn control when you are on full safe. Just wants to climb. Let's see if we can bring it down a bit closer. Still flying on the safe mode right now. Overhead pass. Such a beautiful, beautiful machine, guys. Really fun to ride. Oops, I think I went too high. Let me bring it down. Bring it down, bring it down. And there we go again. Let's turn around. 
Yep, with the rudder, definitely turns better. The 30 mm EDF fans doing the job quite well. Let's do a flyby. That was close. Possible to keep it low because it only wants to climb in the safe mode. And it's, as it's my first time, really don't want to mess around today without safe. So we have a battery low Let's try to land Oops, fuck So as you can see the smart battery indicator shows you how much battery you have left and right now is at 1 and I didn't charge the battery completely and probably need to put in the sticky in there to put the battery strongly in there but uh, what an amazing flight guys what an amazing flight I mean this is let me unplug the battery first so as you saw the landing was not perfect but there's no damage to report this is an absolute beast of a plane got some dirt in the front on the gun the Gatling gun on the front other than that everything looks great the lipo is a bit warm i can feel it in my hand and uh, we have i think 17 degrees today outside so I won't see that bad so guys this was the review for the e-flight umx thunderbird 2 running on 3s spectrum smart batteries and using a dxs radio to pair this bind and fly Hope you enjoyed the video definitely recommend this cool toy to anyone see you in the next one cheers guys hey guys if you like my content please subscribe and ring the bell icon like comment and share the video as well thanks